here's why. pH is a, it's a scale from 1 to 14, 0 to 14, and really 7 is pretty much in the middle. Anything below 7 is going to be what we call acidic. Anything above 7 is going to be what we call alkaline. Now, just like driving down the road, there's two ditches on either side, and there's problems in either ditch. But for the most part, the American lifestyle is by far leaning toward the acidic side of things, for the most part. Okay? There are so many systems in the body set up to buffer acidity. Okay? One way, for you ladies, is to leach calcium from bone because calcium leaves more of an alkaline effect on the body. So because blood is so important, the body will guard the blood pH, I mean, like you wouldn't believe it, because when the pH in the blood gets off, things are serious. We check urine pH because it shows up in urine much quicker. You can also check salivary pH, but urine is probably the best way to check. Now, let's go ahead to the next slide. So, when the body becomes acidic, these are some of the things that happen. Minerals get stolen to buffer acid, potential osteoporosis. So you see the, you see the person again, smoking and drinking a cup of coffee. Coffee is extremely acidic. Alcohol is very acidic. It's one of those contracting things. And what happens? Pretty soon, she's like this. Like that, right? Why? Because she's got osteoporosis. It affects the way she's, her body bears its biomechanics, and that's what happens. So, when the body becomes acidic, we have increased pain. I will tell you that one of the big things I like to do with people, just like taking out that driver and sending the ball down the fairway, is to make them more neutral. Okay, not more, I, I hate to say more alkaline, but I want to make them neutral. I want to make them balanced. Because your pain level at a pH of 5 is going to be much greater than, a, than it is at a pH of 7. Everything else being equal. <coughs> and the way you might picture that is if you took a nerve ending and you poured muriatic acid on it, it would go like that. Does anybody have fibromyalgia? No? Anyway, this is the type of stuff we're talking about. Less tranquil, this is interesting. I'm not going to ask, but I all know, I know that all of us have a certain amount of uh, angst in our world. You know, whether it's because of the election that's coming up in another few years. No comment, Mary Jo. Whether it's because of whatever. We all have plenty to work with as far as the angst. Acidity, anxiety, they go together you will be much calmer at a pH of 7 than you are at 5. Um, you're going to retain fluid. You're going to have increased mucus production. You're going to have all that stuff coming out of your nose and in your lungs. Rheumatism. This is kind of the old term that the oldsters used to have, you know, 100 years ago. They talked, oh, my grandfather had rheumatism. He could hardly move. Now we call it, tend to call it fibromyalgia. Next slide. So there's a lot we can say about pH, but I will tell you, I just, I just want to tell you, it's changed, you can change it. You can improve it. And that's, that's moving a big rock. That's sending the ball down the fairway. You know, somebody comes in, I've got, I've got cancer, cure my cancer. I don't do that, but I can change your behavior. If you had a garden, who gardens in here? Show of hands, throw a garden. Do you ever do a soil test? Check your pH. Do you do a soil test? Okay. What do you like your soil to be? Well, it's supposed to be around seven. Around seven. Not yeah. just like the human body. Yeah. yeah but the stuff I don't destroy isn't that good to test. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got enough for myself. But pH is important when you grow a garden. It's important in soil. I'm going to make an absurd comment. If I wanted to grow disease, if I wanted to grow heart disease, if I wanted to grow cancer, if I wanted to grow Alzheimer's disease, if I wanted to grow osteoarthritis, if I wanted to grow rheumatoid arthritis, I would find an acidic seed bed, and I would grow it to my heart's content. So if you want to avoid disease, watch your city. Next slide. I'm going to come over here so you people don't have to look at myself all the time. 
Um,